Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms. My name is Stuart. Uh, welcome to a video that uh, I suppose doesn't really fit in with any of the current projects I've got going on at the moment. It's one of those videos that's, um, uh, that's linked to an individual project that um, I thought would be a little bit fun to share with you more than anything else. So as I'm recording this, there's one week to go till I head off to CrackCon 2. Now CrackCon is a an event run by the Plastic Crack Podcast guys. That's a podcast on YouTube run by four YouTube channels, which you're, you're probably aware of and may well have found this channel via them. But I know quite a few people have joined this channel recently for the epic battles things, and they may not have come by them. So I'll, I'll talk, for, talk you through them anyway. So you've got Martin um, from the Seventh Sun channel, Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors, you've got Steve for On Point HQ, and Don for Boots on the Table with Don. There's four um, good channels there, mainly historical based, but there is a smattering of other things on those channels as well. Um, the great guys, and then every Monday, they, at 8 o'clock um, UK time, they get together and host a podcast which goes out live, and then you can watch um, as a replay after, and they take it in terms of hosting, and those recorded shows go up on their respective channels and they take in turns. Now last October, I believe, they ran their first event um, and it was a nice relaxed day of gaming, multiple systems, mostly historical, but I attended with my, my friend Dan um, and we actually run some demo games of Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game because we, we do a, a Middle Earth podcast together, which those of you who have watched a lot of the channel will, will know that I mention every now and then. Um, so anyway, I'm going to the second incarnation of the event. I'm going by myself this time. Um, Dan can't make it. Um, so I'm not running a game this time, but I'm, I'm taking part in um, a really big game of Wars of the Roses, and it's themed with the Battle of Barnet. And that's been run primarily by Martin from Seventh Son, who has um, probably the most Wars of the Roses content in terms of wargaming on YouTube that I can think of. Um, loads and loads of videos. Um, and then he's been ably assisted by Ken for Miniature Wargaming Warriors. Um, so there's going to be lots of kind of narrative stuff built in, lots of stuff that you're going to trick us as players. Um, and he's using the Hail Caesar rules from, from Warlord Games. And he's kind of written his own supplementary rules and army lists and special rules to go with it to really kind of get the flavour of the Wars of the Roses. And there's quite a lot of people taking part in, in, in Wars of the Roses using using those sets of rules now. There's quite a following building up. And it caught me as well, um, it really caught me as well. And I, I was really engaged with Wars of the Roses last year and I bought lots of stuff. And I just realised I wouldn't have time to paint it all in 28 mil. Um, so I went and, and, and started it in 10 mil and that's still an ongoing project slightly slightly derailed at the moment by the amount of epic um, Napoleonic stuff that's out there um, but it's still going on and if you haven't already checked them out go and check out the Wars of the Roses um, 10 mil videos on on this channel but anyway that's the kind of massive intro now I don't have a 28 mil army so Martin is kindly lending me stuff from his massive collection so I can take part in the game um, but I wanted to do something. Um, I wanted to be in involved in some way or another. And I don't like playing a game without any miniatures that I've painted. Um, and he didn't have um, the person that I'm commanding. He didn't have that person in his collection. So I offered to, to, to paint it for him. At least that way I'm involved slightly. So Martin has sent me this lovely little uh, um, care package of, of his stuff um, but I'm going to paint it take it along with me and then you can keep it afterwards now I have painted the person that I'm going to be already um, but he's in 10 mil so that's not really going to work so but um, anyway I'm going to be Duke of Clarence um, hopefully not um, ending my weekend the way he, he died in the end drowning in a vat of wine but I thought we'd open up this little box and um, you can see what Martin sent me so we've got a couple of banner bearers there um, and to go on the command stand not to clue the sword back on that one but they look um, brilliant peri plastic um, miniatures and then we have a couple of men at arms all oh, prime ready to go as well. Very cool. And then on his own in a bag. So I'm, I'm assuming this is what Martin intends to be, or this is who Martin intends to be 
Clarence himself. And I will double check that before I start painting them with him, but um, I, I, I very much doubt I've got the wrong person here. So, he's pretty cool. Looking forward to doing this. So it's a nice little project. Five, five dudes to paint. Now I wanted to match his army, so he sent me a selection of all the things that he uses on his bases, which is fantastic, so I can match his existing forces so that when he takes it away afterwards it won't look too out of place so we've got uh, I think this is the base layer that goes on so ground cover pre-static grass and we have four millimeter dead and summer grass mix tufty weeds little bits to put on and then some tufts as well fantastic and then he's also sent me some flags as well. So I'm going to go away now and re-watch a few of Martin's videos while I start to prep these. He's got some fantastic videos on how he does his command bases and how even his, his, his regular troop bases and how he gets makes them all into almost mini vignettes with sort of real life in there and a real feel of, of, of battle and things going on. So I want to make sure that I, the way I position them on the bases and the style I do it in um, does that justice. Um, so I'm going to have a watch, get, watch of those, start to come together with some ideas of what paint schemes I'm, I'm going to do and, and, and how I choose to do it. Um, and then I will come back to you and show you what I've done and how it, how it looks when it's painted. George, Duke of Clarence, was the sixth son of Richard Plantagenet, third Duke of York, and brother of English kings Edward IV and Richard III. Clarence came under the influence of his first cousin, Richard Neville, the Earl of Warwick, and in July 1469 was married to the Earl's daughter, Isabel Neville. Clarence had actively supported his elder brother's claim to the throne, but when his father-in-law, known as the Kingmaker, deserted Edward IV to ally with Margaret of Anjou, Clarence supported him. Clarence joined Warwick in France. Henry VI rewarded Clarence by making him next in line to his throne after his own son, justifying the exclusion of Edward IV by both Attainder for his treason against the House of Lancaster, as well as his alleged illegitimacy. After a short time, Clarence realised that his loyalty to his father-in-law was misplaced. Warwick had his younger daughter, Anne Neville, Clarence's sister-in-law, marry Henry VI's son in December of 1470. This demonstrated that his father-in-law was less interested in making him king than serving his own interests and, since it now seemed unlikely that Warwick would replace Edward IV with Clarence, Clarence was secretly reconciled with Edward. After a short time, Clarence realised that his loyalty to his father-in-law was misplaced. Warwick had his younger daughter, Anne Neville, Clarence's sister-in-law, marry Henry VI's son in December of 1470. This demonstrated that his father-in-law was less interested in making him king than serving his own interests, and since it now seemed unlikely that Warwick would replace Edward IV with Clarence, Clarence was secretly reconciled with Edward. Warwick's efforts to keep Henry VI on the throne ultimately failed, and Warwick was killed at the Battle of Barnet on the 14th of April 1471. The battle itself was fought between the Lancastrian army commanded by Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, and the Yorkist commanded by the three sons of York, Edward IV, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, and the recent traitor-turned-ally, George, the Duke of Clarence himself. Things didn't end well for Clarence. Imprisoned in the Tower of London, put on trial for treason against his brother, Edward IV, he was privately executed on the 18th of February, 1478. Rumoured to be drowned in a butt of Malmsey wine. But I'll spare you the details and this video from becoming a history lesson, and you can go and look that up yourself. And here we are, all finished. Um, and this was loads of fun to do. Um, a real change of pace from, from most of the stuff I've been doing recently. It's the larger scale stuff, the 28 mil and above painting I've been doing for work. And it's been um, some, some fun Napoleonics I've done recently and uh, lots of lots of Space Marines as always. Um, but um, I haven't painted anything like this for for a little while. So this was, it was a load of fun to do, even if it wasn't. I can't use it in my own 10 millimeter project. 
It was really, really cool, and it was nice to do it for the event, but uh, that's where things went a little bit wrong. Fortunately, the day before the event, um, I woke up with very, very little voice um, and the beginnings of um, what felt like it might be a sore throat, but I was hoping it was going to be okay, but as the day went on, um, it got a little bit worse, and by the time I woke up on the, on the morning of the event... I, I still had no voice and my, my throat was pretty sore um, and while I didn't feel too ill there was no way I was going to uh, go and share my germs with like 50 people in a in a, in a gaming shop so I had to, to let mine know I wasn't going and to tell him to pack an extra um, stand just in case so to speak so yep that was that was um, me not going. Um, I have since posted this off to Martin, so he's going to have it in his collection anyway. I think actually, it's, uh, as I'm recording this, it arrived to him today. So he does have it. So not what I wanted. Gutted to, to miss Crackcom too. The first one was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Gutted to miss out on the big game as well. Um, looking forward to catching up on the podcast and, and finding... Um, you know, hearing all the funny stories about it. I did follow it on the day, and Dom from Boots on the Table did lots of live, you know, Facebook lives and things. So I watched watched some bits as I moped around at home. Um, but these things happen. Um, definitely first world problems. Um, but as I said, lots and lots of fun um, working on this these miniatures, and it, it does make me want to do a twenty eight mil Wars of the Roses army. But that's definitely not going to happen right now. Um, so I've put some, as usual, I'll put some stills up at the end as well. Um, so if anyone anyone has got any comments about it or anything, um, just pop them in, pop them below. I'll try and answer them if I can. Um, noticeably, I, I I decided to read a bit of uh, Wikipedia history, um, internet history of Clarence over the um, the sped up work of me painting rather than talking you through and turning it into a tutorial. I thought it would just be a little different kind of video. But if anyone is interested in any of the methods and things that I used to to paint these, I'm, I'm more than happy to to answer them and in the in the comments on the video. Or contact me on any of the social media, which you'll find in linked in the video description as well. Um, if you are new to the channel um, and you've come to the channel because of, because of this video or to do with crack corn or something like that, um, yeah, have a look at the other things I've got on. There's a lot of um, Warlord games, epic epic battle stuff, being that Americans for War and lots of Napoleonic. But there are other things on there as well. If you liked the video, fancy giving us a like, we'd be greatly appreciated, and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. But anyway, thanks very much. Take care, guys. <laughs>